Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here. Welcome to my first Airsoft collection on this channel. If you don't know me, my name is Chris, also known as Lincoln, and my main channel, AH Lincoln, is where I posted all of my content. Everything went there, and all my Airsoft stuff. And Airsoft was very popular on that channel, but it wasn't what the channel... It wasn't the channel's purpose. It wasn't Airsoft. It's more gaming and stuff. So I made this channel right here, and slowly migrating some of the unboxings and reviews and stuff to this channel. Uh, some videos are going to stay on my main channel, some of the bigger ones actually still get views that aren't too bad. But for the most part, 99% of Airsoft videos will go here. The other 1% is reserved for videos of, mine, of Airsoft that are still on the main channel that aren't going to get taken down. So, I just want to uh, explain that this is going to be me showing you all of my equipment, like almost every piece of equipment I have. Accessories, guns, attachments, whatever have you, and down to the last BB and CO2 canister. I want to preface this by saying... This is one of the smallest collections I've had because I have gotten rid of a lot of guns. The Airsoft M249 that you guys saw me unbox before, I'm not keeping that. I'm actually sending that back, so that will not be in this collection. But I am going to be getting a new gun that will be added to this collection. But that's not for like another couple weeks out where I'm going to be getting the new gun, so just kind of have to wait for that, so I'm going to do this instead. And yeah, so basically this is just a baseline. This is where I'm starting for my second generation of Airsoft gaming, because I'm definitely going to get back into it in the next coming months. So without further ado, here's the collection. Now I know I'm not filming the best angles possible, but this is what I'm doing right now. For the first gun to start off with, this is my current main gun. It's my AEG. It's my XCRC. And uh, I recently spray painted this Blue Tiger. As you guys can see, I have a video of that on the channel. Uh, as for accessories on this gun, I obviously have a little uh, foregrip right there. I got the stock with the batteries in it. I have a red dot sight right here. I have some Magpul flip-up iron sights. And then I have my one of my GoPros. I'm ordering a second one soon. That's going to be a helmet cam. Um, but then I have my one of my GoPros right here, which is my uh, Cam Park, a UHD 4K camera that's going to be mounted on my barrel right there. And then uh, here's the reverse side of it. And also, yes, I do have a suppressor right here attached to the gun. When it comes to my second and my only other primary gun as of this moment, this is my MBO3 sniper rifle. I have a uh, Magpul stock on the back. It's got a uh, retractable bipod. I got my, uh, my scope right here, my illuminated crosshair scope. And I think this gun's pretty sexy. It's got a pistol grip and everything. It's it's. It's definitely a nice gun. Again, I haven't really had much of a chance to use it though since I haven't been playing much, but that is, these are my two primary weapons that I have so far as of right now. Now we're going to get into sidearms. I have my Wind Gun 705. You can now buy this at Walmart before it wasn't, but it's now they have affiliated with Walmart. So you can get this gun for like 60, 70 bucks at Walmart. It's CO2. It's not a bad gun, although I've never used it in a game and I've been trying to sell it basically since I got it. So, uh,. There's that. Now I have my sidearm that I use. This is my, uh, I believe it's my, my Umarex KWC. I believe because I had two 1911s. I don't remember which one I actually kept. I'm trying to make this somewhat appealing to look at, but it really just doesn't work with the camera angle, does it? Another accessory right here. This is just a little four times, little ACOG scope that I have that um, I haven't put on anything right now, but I will eventually. I need to get a battery for it. It also has uh, iron sights on the top of the four times right there, so it's a cool sight. I just never have, I've just never really had a chance to fully use it. Got some BBs right there, and then we got some more BBs in the Tupperware container. First off, for other miscellaneous accessories, we have my vest that I use right here. It's got a couple patches on it right here. It's got an airsplat.com, another airsplat. I've got a gunnery sergeant and a rising sun patch right here. I mean, I haven't used it a whole crap ton. But I obviously plan on using it a lot. It's got two in inner pockets right here. It's fully adjustable. I've got uh, three, four, no, three mag pouches for like M4 mags or whatever. I've got a couple of uh, spare CO2 or pistol mag slots, meaning grenades, shotgun shells, whatever you want to put up here. Got a detachable pistol holster. I can take that off if I want to. Uh, little loops for a tactical belt down here. I think I got this like 40 bucks. Uh, this I just recently got from, uh, I think, Salvation Army the other day. It's just a little digital camo uh, BDU jacket, and it surprisingly fits me well. I'm a very skinny person, so I can never find a jacket that fits me right, but this one actually fits well enough. That, uh, But the thing is, I might dye it fully black, so I can wear it with my vest, and it'll actually kind of go together, because I don't care much for camos. So I think, if anything, I might try to dye it black. If not, I can just... I can make it work with the vest if I need to. Next, we have one of my full face masks. This is like an Army of Two style one that I got 
some time ago. I never really used it. I used it a couple times, but both of the ear plates broke off and I've had to glue them together. And also there's really no nose padding, so my nose is constantly squished up against it, so it's super uncomfortable for me to wear. This, this mask would be fantastic for Voldemort, let's just say that. Uh, I got another four grip right there. Uh, here's another mask. This is, uh, no one ever uses it in gameplay because it's a uh, reserved mask from a series on my channel. Uh, then we have a pair of little gla uh, glasses right there. Next we have a hard shell um, holster for my 1911 that goes on your belt loop. I like that a lot. Then we have another pair of my goggles that I will probably be using more because they do seal more around my face than the other one. Even though I like these goggles a lot, they've actually, you can tell they've had a little bit of wear and use. Um, I think these ones would be a better option because they can cover the sides of my eyes easier. Got a, an old spare battery that's probably too dead to use. I got a rubber combat knife that obviously I spray painted gold because why, why wouldn't you? Uh, then a hard shell case right here that I can attach to my vest that I will be carrying around for so for some funsy gameplay. Now this I'm probably not going to use. I might use it to help keep my face a little bit warmer if it's colder. But it's just like a little um, cosplay face mask for no show or anime or anything in specific. It's just like a little little uh, face mask to put over and it looks like a little banana hammock. But uh, I might use this just to kind of help keep my face warm underneath one of uh, underneath my hard mesh. Uh, lower face mask that I will be getting. Here is a 45 degree integrated rail right here for offsetting anything. If you want to offset like a, a dot sight or an iron sight on the side. This box right here has uh, another accessory for my uh, holster, some CO2 canisters, a spare um, bullet, I don't know what the hell you want to call that, bullet loop thing for the revolver, CO2 like I said, an old sniper magazine, some random pistol magazine, uh, another rail, and then some winding tools, mis miscellaneous stuff. Oh look, I found a coin. I don't even know what that is, I found a coin though. Then we have, this is my uh, air splat bag, my little duffel bag that I carry stuff around in. It's actually got a hole in it. Uh, it's got a couple little holes in it because this thing's pretty old, but it usually has a bunch of loose BBs inside. There's a penny in here, some Allen wrenches, uh, another old magazine, another old magazine, Just it's just full of junk. I will clean it up when I actually go to use it, but for now it's been kind of a storage container. And then we have the satchel that I, I personally will be carrying around. It's full of a bunch of stuff right now, but this is just like a little, little shoulder sling satchel that I will have important equipment in. Right now it's full of spare magazines. I got a bunch of mags right here for my MBO3. I think I have... We have four mags total for that, but we have MBO3 mags, uh, nine, uh, another mid-cap M4 mag, uh, spare spare clips for my 1911, got a speed loader, two more mags, one gold and one with a gorilla sticker on it for my M4 for my XCR, Blue Tiger XCR mag right there, tactical belt. Okay, you guys, I think that's mostly it when it comes to all my miscellaneous accessories. This table right here is full of all my accessories and I think that's going to be it this, for this video. As I said at the beginning, this is just kind of like a baseline, my starting point for the next generation of my life of Airsoft because I am, like I said, going to be getting back into it. I will have some further unboxings coming in the next couple of weeks once I'm able to get a refund for the, uh, for the light machine gun for the M249 and some other accessories I bought. I'm sending them back getting a refund and using that to buy other stuff. I'm going to be getting a, a helmet for my GoPro, another camera. I'm going to be getting a new primary assault rifle, hopefully a sling, some gloves, boots in the future. But I will have a few more accessories coming in and unboxing stuff soon. And once I have all that equipment, I'll update my collection again. So, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you want to see more unboxing, shooting tests, reviews, other stuff like that, if you see the tat the title says re-upload, that means it came from my previous channel. It means it came from my main channel. So just know that the video might be old, might be lower quality, but you know I wanted to move it here anyway. So uh, check out my other videos. Be sure to subscribe for future content, which because I will be uploading a lot. And also check out my main channel. It's, it's linked on this page. It's linked down in the description. It's on my main, it's on this channel's uh, suggested box. So go over there, check it out. I got like 5K subs. I mean, if you're into gaming and uh, lifestyle stuff, then go look at that. And I will hopefully see you guys in some future videos. Later. Hey, thanks so much for watching my video. If you want to see more airsoft content, be sure to click on one of the playlists listed right here at the end of the video and check the description for other links. And also be sure to check out my main channel where you can find gaming and lifestyle type videos of, and pretty much anything else I can think to record. So thank you again. I hope to see you in the next one.